So in this video, I'm going to show you how we prepare NFT channels made out of uh, regular Atlanta Duracon downspouts. They're four and a half inches, or four inches by two and a half. Uh, we got our spacing set up here at eight, eight inches center to center. And a hole will be made right here in the middle, uh, at the intersection point here on both measurements. So what we use is a hole saw. Um, for this system, we're, we're going to be using styro cups. So we like using two and three fourth hole saw with a mandrel bit. And our drill here, uh, let's see if we can do this with one hand. Place, place the mandrel right in the center there. Now what we like to do is go forward just a little bit just to make that pilot hole. Okay, once you're in there, the trick is that we put them in reverse and then create the hole. And that way, the cutout will fall right in the middle, will fall into the hole and won't get stuck in the hole saw itself. So it's, uh, it's, kind, of, it's kind of a pain to keep getting the, uh, the pieces out of the, 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 the hole saw. Um, that's a little trick we'll do, make it uh, faster, especially if you have a lot to do. And in uh, this project we got uh, 90 or so of these things. So, yeah. So here I'll show you what happens if we use the forward function instead of the reverse function and see uh, what I mean. So we'll go forward here, bring it down, make the pilot hole. Okay, now we won't go in the reverse, we'll just keep on going. So the teeth are sharper, so you have to hold it down. So. There it is. Not a nice cut, but it's because of the sharpness of the teeth. And now you gotta take this guy out with a pride loose with a screwdriver or something. But it's just so much easier if you just put it in reverse and yeah, it'll automatically just pop out. <laughs> 